Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've been doing a Four Seasons Tree Swipe series. Um, I've done three seasons. I've got one left to do. I've got the summer um, swipe to do. Um, it seems a little bit ironic because I'm freezing cold. I've got my hoodie on. I'm about to put the heating on um, and I'm going to do the summer swipe. So it's a swipe with Australian Flower Troll as cell activator. And then I'm going to swipe the silhouette of a tree in. Um, and this will be the last in the series. So um, at the end, I'm hoping to put them all together to show you. Um, so let me show you the summer colours I've chosen. So here are my colours. Excuse the slightly grubby looking bottles. Um, I've got three Pebio Studio Acrylics colours. Um, iridescent red, blue, green, yellow and orange, yellow. Um, I've got two De La Rownies, Sap Green and Naples Yellow, and then two Amsterdams, so um, white for the base and the cell activator, and then Venetian Rose. Um, so actually, if I put them in a different way round, you can see the warmth there. So you've got the warmth of summer, but then you've got the green as well peeking through. So they're all mixed with Flood Floatrol and water, and I'll put the recipe for the mixture in the description of this video for you. My canvas is the same as the other, the size of the other three. Um, I've put the big push pins in the back. I just get these from Amazon, hammer them in, and then I put a spirit level on my canvas just to check that the canvas is level. I do it on the floor, not on this worktop because this worktop's a bit uneven with bits of dried paint. I put it in a few different places across the canvas, just check that it's level, um, and then the same in the other direction. If it's not level, I will just spend some time pulling out the push pins or hammering them in a little bit more just so it is totally level it has to be totally flat or the it will not dry properly it will slide as it's drying so first up i'm going to just put some white base down Right, so I've learned with this technique that the colour that I put down first for the swipe is the colour that's going to show the most in the tree trunk. Um, and I think I'd like that colour to be red. Um, so I'm going to put a line of this down first. I'm just put, simply putting a roughly vertical line through the centre of this canvas. And also... I realised last time I didn't put much a very thick line down, so I've had deliberately gone slightly thicker there. I'm going to deliberately put a little bit more paint in, uh, paint down than before. So let's just have a look at the order of these. I think I might put the dark green on last because then that will give most contrast. Let's go with the, the lighter green next. Obviously, I'm using red and green here, so there's a really high chance of getting some brown. So I've just got to hope for the best. And yellow. Orange and then a bit of the sap green on top. Right, that looks gorgeous. Really happy with that. So next thing to do is get my cell activator. So it's three parts Australian Floatrol with one part white Amsterdam paint. And I'm just going to put a little bit down here. I'm using just a really springy piece of plastic. It feels like cardboard, but it's not. It is actually plastic. Um, and then I'm going to dip the end of it into the Floatrol mixture, the cell activator. So I've got a little line of it on the end of my, or the end of the plastic there. And I'm just simply going to place it in roughly the center. Oh, I was going to do it left-handed. I found when I did it left-handed, I got a much more pressure and I got a better result. And then push down gently and then just swipe the colours to the edge.
Now, I'm not quite sure what I make of this. It's very, very orange. There's not much yellow showing through at all. There's a little bit there where I haven't, where I've missed the swipe. It's just very orange. I can't see any of the Venetian rose either. I don't really like it. I think I had too much colour. There's not enough white at the edges. So I'm going to scrape it. I just don't like it. I'm going to mix things up. I'm going to go for a different order of colours. So I'm starting with the Venetian rose. I'm going to put some orange down, but I'm going to try and just do a really thin line. I wonder if it's because it's an iridescent colour that it really created so many cells they just popped up so much going for a wiggly a wiggly line there i just would quite like a bit more yellow to show and then the red last I think I'm going to leave it at that, so I'm going to leave out that dark green, that sap green. Right, let's try again, see what happens. So there's a bit less paint this time. Right, I've definitely got more of a mixture of colours there. Right, much, much happier. It's a bit strange though, because I've got green this side and not this side. Um, but I think by the time I've um, done my tree, I think I think it will be fine. I think I'll be happy with it. It's quite bright red at the moment, but I think once I've done my tree, that will soften down a little bit. Um, the lacing is beautiful. The colours are gorgeous. It really reminds me of summer cocktails, I think. Um, there's something about that red that really looks like one of those, like a raspberry bellini or a, I don't know, or a champagne colour, peach peach drink. Um, yeah, it's really reminding me. Um, or a calippo ice cream, an ice pop. Yeah. So, great. I'm happy, happy so far. So, let's now do the tree trunk. So, to do the trunk, I've just cut a thinner piece of plastic and I'm going to just use that as a swiper to swipe up through the centre and out to create some branches.
so so happy it gives that such a warm um but vibrant color tone to it it's i'm just so so pleased with it um it's a little bit like a flamingo-y color summer i think um i can see a lot of that venetian rose um but let me show you up close my favorite bit of lacing i'm sorry about my shadow I move I think it has to be this bit here it's quite subtle but it's absolutely beautiful um, I'm just going to put my main my um, spotlight back on I thought it was too bright but I don't like the shadow and I've still got a shadow right there you go it shows it better now absolutely beautiful lacing um, I've got a hint of some brown where it's been mixing there, but really not much. It's a bit more, it's a bit greenier than brown, but otherwise there just, there isn't brown. You, the colours have blended beautifully. You've got bits of that green peeking through everywhere. It is a little bit more one side than the other, um, but there's a little bit of green this side to sort of balance it out. Um, really, really happy with the tones of the tree trunk. Um, you've got such variation, so I think it makes it look like there's so much texture to the tree trunk. It really looks like quite rough bark to me. Um, I might, when it's dry, I might just do a little bit of highlighting of some of the branches with the white. There's an awful lot of colour on this. So some of my paintings have been quite pale to the edges. This one isn't. This one's quite coloured all the way to the edge. So I might just come in with a bit of white to give a bit more definition to the tree. Um, but I'm really happy. So it's now dry and it's now finished. I didn't embellish it. I was going to add some white um, to give it a bit more definition but I decided it just looked a little bit like a heat haze which is perfect for summer so it's it is slightly hazy slightly less defined than the other trees but I actually think that really suits the season um, so I've created my border like I have with the others I've gone for green so the dark green I didn't include it in the swipe in the end so I've gone for dark green um, I wasn't sure about green to start with, but there wasn't an alternative. So I would maybe have picked the darker red, but it would just look too red. So I'm really happy with it. It picks out the green here. And then I've gone for my gold border, which I've drawn on with a ruler and my Posca pen. Um, the colours are fab. They are just so warm. You've got bits of the green peeking through. I'm so happy. I've got the yellow and the dominant colour seems to be the pinky and, then, and the ready colour and the Venetian rose. So it's got a real coral sort of thick color to it, which is why I mentioned a flamingo before. Um, there's my favorite bit of lacing, still is my favorite, favorite bit there. Um, I love the texture you have in the bark, in the tree trunk. Somehow it just looks like one of those really old trees where you get the sort of ridges going up um, in the tree trunk. Um, so really, really happy with it. Um, so I'm now going to put it with the other three and show you them all as a set of four. So here they all are. I love them. I'm so happy I've done this series. Um, I really like the balance. So I've got a red border here and here, green border and a blue border. So I think that works really well. I've deliberately gone for a really dark border for them all to really, really just surround them and, and highlight the tree. Um, you've got kind of cool to really warm to cool to really cold. Um, so, I, yeah, I just really like them as a four. I like that. I prefer them in a row like this. Um, so obviously I've got I put them in order of season. So I've obviously got my spring um, tree going to the really warm. You can really get a sense of the heat and the warmth from it, the glow. Um, and then a little bit frosty, but you've still got the warmth and the depth of colours, the orange is coming through. Um, and then my really lovely icy, frosty, cold feeling. And I almost want to shiver when I look at it. Um, so the, the winter and the summer in particular, I think you really get a sense of the season and the temperature. Um, I have thought about hanging them sort of one on top of the other, so in a set of four. Um, but I just, I feel like it balances so nicely, um, um, like this, as in a row. Um, so, all done. I'm a bit sad the, season, the series is finished. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear other people's feedback, other people's comments um, on the, this idea that I've, I've, um, I've had. 
um, yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.